Hello, I'm Dr. Rosina Buckland, curator of the Japanese collections at the British Museum. This image shows a vision of the pure land of Maitreya, the Buddha of the future. Maitreya, or Miroku Bosatsu in Japanese, is seated on a lotus throne beneath an elaborate canopy and is flanked on the right by the Bodhisattva Honrin and on the left the Bodhisattva Daimyoso. And bodhisattvas are enlightened beings who stay within the world to help others on that path towards enlightenment. These three central figures are highlighted by halos, and though it's a little hard to see in this copy, around them stand four diva kings and two arhats, or disciples of the Buddha. This is a copy on paper of a wall painting in distemper in the Golden Hall or Kondo, of the temple Horyuji, located in Nara in central Japan. Nara was historically a major centre of Buddhism and has a concentration of temples. Among these, Horyuji is one of the most significant, founded in 607 AD by Shotoku Taishi, a member of the imperial family who was a key figure in the establishment of Buddhism in Japan. Horyuji is a UNESCO World Heritage Site the first to be so designated in Japan. The Golden Hall was built in the late 7th century AD and is renowned as the oldest extant wooden building in the world. This copy was made at life size and measures 3.1 meters high by 2.6 meters wide. The paper substrate was made by joining 120 sheets of very thin Tengujo paper, approximately 25 by 37 centimeters and was sized with a solution known as dosa, which gave the surface a shiny texture. The image was made by hanging the collage paper carefully over the wall painting and tracing the lines, with colour added subsequently to produce a highly accurate record of the mural's condition at the time. The original mural painting was part of a programme of 12 images of the Buddhist pantheon that covered the walls of the Golden Hall's outer sanctuary. With the passing of the centuries, much of the painting was lost, but this tracing provides a valuable record at a certain moment in time. The copy was produced by the painter Sakurai Kohn in 1880 at the request of the British diplomat Sir Ernest Sato, who served in Japan for more than 20 years. Sato visited Horiuji Temple with his friend William Anderson, a naval surgeon serving the British Navy, in 1879, and they both recognised the significance of the mural paintings. Anderson had been amassing a substantial collection of Japanese drawings and paintings, and he was sent the copy by Sato after his return to England. The British Museum recognised the unique status and importance of the Anderson collection, and its purchase was approved in December 1881. The mural paintings in the Golden Hall of Horiuji were fully photographed in the 1930s using colour type photography. The British Museum holds a set of these life-size black and white photographs, which are mounted as hanging scrolls. Tragically, however, the paintings in the Golden Hall were extensively damaged by fire in 1949 during conservation work. This event was so serious that the day it happened is now recognised and observed as Fire Prevention Day for Cultural Properties across Japan. As a result of this loss, the early copy in the British Museum has acquired greater art historical value, as it records the appearance of the mural painting fully 70 years before the fire, including the colour scheme. The drawing has been in the museum's collection since 1881, but its significance was fully understood only in 2007, when it was rediscovered by Princess Akiko of Mikasa during the research for her doctoral dissertation at the University of Oxford. This drawing was created as a study or record piece and was never intended to be mounted 
as a hanging scroll for display. Since its acquisition, it has been kept folded in storage, together with other drawings from the Anderson collection. However, as the painting is extremely thin, it required a mount so that it could be safely handled and displayed. Hello, I'm Kyoko Kusunoki, conservator for Japanese paintings at the British Museum. In November 2016, Tim Clark, Japanese collections curator, brought an old A3 envelope into the Hirayama studio, which contained a folded up, creased and crumpled Japanese drawing. The drawing, on a very thin and flimsy paper, was supposed to feature in the BM exhibition Nara Sacred Images from Early Japan. It turned out to be the largest drawing in our collection. Dust had naturally accumulated within the thin paper structure, and certain colors were obviously water sensitive. We discussed the right form of housing for such a huge drawing, and after examining our printed copies of the same work, it became clear that hanging scroll format was the best option. We started by cleaning the surface with soft brushes and a hyper-filter vacuum cleaner, working especially at the edges. Then, we consolidated the color pigment using a solution of animal glue applied with thin brushes in preparation for the wet treatment and lining that would follow. Once the colors were stable, we could flatten the drawing by applying a temporary lining using rayon paper and water. This not only stretched out the creases while it was drying, but also absorbed discoloration from the paper. At last, we could also measure the drawing properly, which was crucial in commissioning a special wooden platform to allow us to line the drawing and maintain tension during drying. Given the size and the thinness of the paper, we found that several linings would be necessary. Four layers of thin mino paper using wheat starch paste made up our first lining support. The first and third layers of mino paper were applied in one direction, and the second and fourth in the cross direction for greater stability. Typically, only one layer of mino paper is used as a first lining, but here, the four thin layers will make future remounting safer. Once lined, the drawing was dried and stretched on its wooden platform. Due to its dimensions, the tension effect on the paper was enormous. We could control this by repeated releasing and reattaching the drawing to the platform until it was fully dried and stretched. Finally, the second lining was applied using misu paper and eight paste to give the assembly more flexibility when the scroll was rolled. For such a big drawing, we could only use a relatively narrow silk mount. We chose a single color rather than the traditional Buddhist mount of three different colors with patterns of golden silk brocade, as seen in this example. However, because our drawing is a copy of a lost original of exceptionally large format, a simpler mount of yellow golden silk was chosen after consulting with experts from Japan and British Museum curator. The top and bottom parts of the mount had to be shorter than typical proportions. Otherwise, the scroll would have been some 7 meters instead of 4 meters long and impossible to display in the museum. 
We line the silk mount component separately before assembling with the drawing. This needed two layers of first lining and one layer of second lining. One final layer of Uda paper and aged paste was applied once the drawing and the mount were assembled. It took a team of four conservators to apply the final backing, pounding with uchibake brushes uniformly over the large spam straight after to achieve a good bond. After several months stretched on its drying board, the vessel was burnished by us in unison to a smooth surface to reduce the risk of ablation when the scroll is rolled with the painting front in contact with the back of the mound. Traditionally, a wooden roller rod is used to roll up a hanging scroll. With such an enormous scroll, ancient mounters used a much lighter, hollow wooden roller. In recent years, Japanese scroll mounting conservators have come to adopt modern materials. Thanks to their experience and advice, for our drawing, we used a titanium tube with wooden joints and lacquered wooden roller knobs. This reduced the weight by half and will prevent bending which would risk future splits. Since this project was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, due to the size of the drawing, involving complex logistics and team working with experts from the Association for Conservation of National Treasures, we took the opportunity in two master classes to share the process with many international colleagues and home student. The hanging scroll was exhibited in the Nara exhibition in 2019, sponsored by the Asahi Shimbun and Mitsubishi Corporation, co-organized with Nara Prefecture. Our conservation work was possible thanks to the Sumitomo Foundation, and we are very grateful for their generosity.